Elaine Erickson started a gallery in 1994 and throughout these years has shown a fantastic array of contemporary art. This June marks the gallery's closing and as the final exhibition, Fame, Paintings by Estelle Halloran, is an especially unique show. It is the debut exhibition for 15-year-old Halloran and features primarily small paintings of entertainment celebrities. As an homage, there is of course one piece featuring Andy Warhol, but if you have ever wanted a painting of Lux Interior and Poison Ivy from the Cramps, this may be your chance. Stylistically, Halloran travels in the wake of pop art, seeming to enjoy the candy-colored effects of bright backgrounds and the playful changeability of skin in blue or pink shades. Her portrait of John Waters cast the filmmaker in green with popping eyes and a toothy smile. Things get rather interesting with Chuck Baker painted up in swashes of blue. Notable exceptions to this dominant style occur in a few naturalistic portraits. A diminutive painting of Little Richard is perhaps based on a promotional photograph but carries a spark of energy in the attentive gaze and the lay of light. The actor's Akifan is painted in a very friendly manner, as though the source is a school photograph, something far from Hollywood glamour and style. Halloran follows in a long tradition of artists venerating celebrities through the painted image. The aforementioned Warhol is like a godfather in that respect. No one can get away from him. But other contemporary artists, also brushing out their fascination with fame, such as Elizabeth Payton, seem to adopt their iconic figures, and the act of painting is like an imagining of closeness, manifesting the reality of the famous figure. Rather than a sense of perfection, Holland's painterly and unpretentious approach brings them down to earth. As this is the first gallery exhibition of Holland's work, there's something hopeful about the spirit of installation, and yet, as it is the last of the Elaine Erickson Gallery, there's already a sense of nostalgia.